Ladies and gentlemen, welcome. Welcome to Drupa 2016. Welcome to the Komori stand and welcome especially to this demonstration of the Lithrone G29, a brand new printing press being unveiled before you today at Drupa 2016. Technology's changed our world. These days, we all have computers, smartphones, and hundreds of resources and applications at our fingertips all the time. Now, over the past few years, our world has changed from one of hardware to one of systems and software. And of course, that includes us in the printing industry. And in the commercial world, what that means is that it's survival of the fittest. Companies that are most adaptable to change are the ones that are going to survive and succeed. In the printing world, that means that we need to minimize our environmental impact, whilst at the same time dramatically improving our workflow and our productivity. But I don't need to tell you that's not an easy thing to do. But Komori is changing. Komori is evolving from an offset print manufacturer to a print engineering service provider. Komori's lineup now includes the latest offset presses, digital printing systems, post press equipment, printing software, and materials. And we connect all of those things together effectively, providing total solutions to help customers grow their businesses. Now, Komori's taking the lead here at Drupa 2016 as well. We're introducing a concept for the next generation, and I want to talk to you about that today. It's called Connected print. Komori is opening a new page of printing and wants you to do the same by connecting with us. Here on the stand we have a brand new product, the Lithrone G29. It's being unveiled, as I said, in front of you right now. The design's completely different, completely new. And over the next 10 minutes or so, you're going to experience the high productivity that comes from being equipped with the latest systems. In one demonstration, we're going to use light stock and we're going to use heavy stock. But the first thing I want to introduce you to is the Komori K-Station 4 print control software. It connects all processes together using CIP4 JDF. Now the K-Station 4 printing scheduler, you can see on your screens, you can also have it on a tablet, on a smartphone, and you can check the results from wherever you are. The PC scheduler changes from yellow to blue and then to green according to the progress of the print job. Now we're introducing the next jobs on the schedule window. You can see, very simple, two jobs of 300 and 200 sheets of a 16-page A4 pamphlet are going to be run. And post-press will be done by Horizon. Now I mentioned that you can have the scheduler on the smartphone. You can check the, the schedule and the progress of the press even when you're not in the office using that application. And if you want to find more details about K-Station 4, our ICT zone has lots of my colleagues who will be willing to answer your questions just beyond this white wall here. So, it's time for us to start printing our first job. Rude is our operator today. Have a wave, Rude, thank you. He's the expert on the Lithrone G29, and here we've got it equipped with five colours, coater and extended delivery, with the KDS Komori drying system, which gives you exceptional drying performance with a lineup of HUV, UV and IR types. Here at Drupa, we've equipped this press with one HUV lamp. Now the HUV lamp gives you very high performance but low environmental impact because it's ozone free and it's energy saving performance as well. So we're gonna get a sample straight off the press. Thank you, Root. Here we go, straight off the press, heavy stock, 16 postcards, high quality printing and all kinds of added value as well. There you go, madam, that's for you. You see, even with high-speed printing, it's completely dry instantly. Next, I want to introduce you to the KID Komori Info Service display screen. Gavin, our cameraman, is showing you a live feed here on the screens. It's showing you PQA version 5. And you can see the densities for the ink keys in each unit are displayed along the top. Automatic compensations being performed. And the line along the bottom are trend graphs of average density. So you can keep on top of all that information. Combining the high performance of the Lithrone G29 with the systems that I'm talking about gives you extraordinary um, productivity. Now, as you can hear, the Lithrone G29 has now started its changeover for our second job, which is going to be printing a poster on light stock. 
So while it's changing over, let me introduce you to some of the advanced technologies that are equipped on this printing press. So, the Lithrone G29 maintains high quality even when it's at its maximum printing speed of 16,500 sheets per hour. Pico AS version 5 has a 4K camera and provides inline color control in addition to precision inspection. For high productivity, what you need is fast make ready. And you get that with this press. Because with the latest version of KHS AI parallel control, ink settings and automatic blanket washing are performed simultaneously. That's going on right now behind me here. Now when that fully automatic plate change is completed, the press will begin printing right away. And remember that second job we're going to do is the poster on light stock. KHS AI provides quick startup by analyzing ink, color and plate register values after each job. And then it modifies them in advance for the job that's coming next. If you want to check quality, you do that very quickly using the PDC SX Spectral Dent, uh, print, density, uh, print Density Controller, which you can see the latest model here, the SX. And with flexibility of changeover between light and heavy stock, it's simply one press on the touch panel to change the sheet thickness. That means that one press can handle a whole range of needs, from light stock to heavy stock to high added value printing, as you've already seen today with those postcards. Now, the computer graphics on the screen now are showing you the full APC automatic plate changing that's already started in the units behind me. Changing for all five of these units will be completed in around about three minutes. So all five units plate changed automatically in about three minutes. I've got another live camera here for you as well. You're looking at uh, one of our operators, Yanagawa. He's in the far corner of the Komori stand. And he's using the Apressia CT137 cutter to cut the imposition of those 16 postcards that we made on our first job here. So the Apressia CT137, Komori began selling about two years ago. And the Apressia CT series comes in two types, two models. There's the 137 centimeter ultra-wide CT137, that's the one you can see and the 115 centimeter wide CT115. Now both of these models offer exceptionally easy, uh, exceptionally easy uh, ability to work because there's ample working space with 735 millimeters between the knife and the front edge of the table. There's a 19 inch touch panel and the movement of paper is very smooth because the air table has a very fine nozzle pitch. And one more thing to note, actually, if you have a look at the pictures, you can see the speed of travel of the back gauge, which is best in class. And you can see how fast that's moving right now on those screens. Now, once those have been cut, our operator is going to bring them back and I'll pass them out and you can have a look around. Now, as we wait for the next job to start printing, let me introduce you to the brains behind connected print. It's called KP Connect and it's Komori's cloud solution. So, you can see once again a smartphone here. This is real-time, live information being downloaded from the cloud via KP Connect. On Komori Presses, KHS AI with its self-learning function with printing startup with less paper waste comes as standard. And KHS AI also records a detailed operating log of all the job as it's going on. Now that's an enormous amount of data, but all of that data is sent to the cloud using the latest technologies. Then the printing company can improve their manufacturing processes with high uptime and high quality by using the high level analysis results that are uploaded through KP Connect. So, as you can see, the dashboard this is you're looking at now of KP Connect. You have summary reports, daily, weekly and monthly, and trend analysis graphs. And that means that if there are any problems, you can really pursue them properly by drilling down into detailed job information. And that detailed job information enables the visualization not just to press operating information, but also cost and quality information as well. And should there be any problems related to presses or printing methods, and most importantly solutions, of course, you're notified automatically by alerts from the solution engine on the cloud. That means that printing productivity can be improved by connecting them to the knowledge here and also Komori preventative maintenance support. Again, more details of KP Connect, which is where the cloud solution connects the printing company and Komori at all times, can be found again in our ICT zone just behind this white wall to your left-hand side here. 
So, we've now finished cutting. Thanks, Yanagawa. We've now finished cutting the finished samples cut by the Impressia CT137. I'm going to ask my friend Jason to hand those out for me. Thanks, Jason. So, as you're having a look, check out the drip-off effect that have been, that's been achieved by the Lithrone G29 behind me, printing black, cyan, magenta and yellow. There's a drip-off varnish. There's an overprint coating as well on those postcards. And also, you should be able to see that we've made some cases as well with fine post-press processing uh, using heavy stock. And we've done that with the Impremia IS-29, which is over in the back corner of our stand over there. So, now we've completed our first job, and I've told you a little bit about some of the systems. We're going to start our second job, checking the quality with PDC-SX. So, once again, a live feed here on the camera, on your screens, rather. You're seeing the densities displayed using green, yellow, and red. And the press is equipped with Komori's original color feedback technology, which facilitates quick color matching. Now, you've just seen the register mark measurement screen, and everything looked OK. So we're going to start printing our second job. The, the press, as you can hear, has started production printing at its maximum speed of 16,500 sheets per hour. Quick start up with the high precision uh, quick start technology of KHSAI, color feedback with the PDC SX, and the consistency of color during the production of printing by means of the inline color control of PQAS version 5. Usually, Rude gives me one of those, but uh, thanks, Rude. <laughs> Please note as you're looking, thank you. The KID screen continues to show control for the operator. Again, completely dry. And you can see on the KID screen the average ink densities of each of the ink keys there. And you can see as well, there you go, sir. You can see we continue the, the conditions of the OK sheet throughout production. So the press is automatically maintaining high quality and productivity with that 16,500 sheets per hour. You can see the new Lithrone G29 for printing on both light and heavy stock is a fabulous performing machine, offering you high added value printing because there's a wide range of unit configurations that you can get, you can specify yourselves. A flexible working environment, high productivity and high agility as well. So you can see that Komori is opening new pages because we're now using connected print to open new pages in the printing industry. It's a lineup now that extends to post press and connects all the way to the final product. I've told you about K Station 4, which connects all printing tasks. And I've also introduced you to KP Connect, Komori's cloud solution, connecting the printing company to Komori. So Komori wants you to develop with innovation by connecting and producing new value. And this new printing press, the Lithrone G29, is a big part of that. Thank you so much for your time in this demonstration. We've got uh, lots of samples at the front that you can take away if you'd like. And of course, lots more information from any of my colleagues. If you want to know more about this printing press, then Rude is the man to ask. Uh, he's the expert on the Lithrone G29. More demonstrations as well coming soon. In about four or five minutes' time, I'm going to be over at the brand new Impremier NS40 for a world premiere here at Drupa 2016. Thank you very much.